Hi guys, Baz from Hognose UK here. I've got a clutch today which I anticipate already is going to give me a headache. The female is a Het Red Exanthic Lesser Ghost, Het Desert Ghost. And the dad is a blackhead, either Mojave or Phantom, possible pinstripe ghost, 100% uh, Het Desert Ghost. Now, Mills and I have both been debating over whether this um, male is a ghost or not. I am going to show you a clip of my man dad before we go into the egg cutting. So let's go ahead and cut these eggs and see what we've made. So this is mum. She is a, um, a lesser Het Red Exanthic ghost. 100% Het Desert ghost. Um, absolutely beautiful stunning girl. This is this is the first clutch I've had from her. Um, made her about three years ago. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that stunning animal. Um, I love how light her head is. Um, and these babies have just hatched, so you can see she's done really well. Got a, a sort of um, a post laying weight back on. In fact, she's probably heavier than she was. Um, she's an absolutely fantastic eater. Um, and I can't wait to uh, to make some more some more um, babies out of her. I'll probably put the poltergeist in next time. So the um, visual ghost, visual desert ghost pastel um, in, into this one because I've got a load of blackhead desert ghost stuff that I can use as an alternative. So I, I think it, it would make sense to put the poltergeist back to her. So this is Dad. So Dad was uh, made from a purple passion ghost blackhead to the poltergeist, and uh, Mills and I believe it's 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 a blackhead definitely. He is a blackhead. Um, he also could be either Phantom or Mo Mojave. There's also some question as to whether there's pinstripe in the female, but. In this this clutch coming up, you'll see in, in the clutch you'll see that there wasn't any pinstripes, so we don't think that necessarily carried through, or it is necessarily there. Uh, but this guy is, um, as I say, it's a black-haired Mojave or Phantom ghost, het desert ghost. Um, and there may be some other debate about that, which I'll talk about at the end. Absolutely beautiful animal. Is there is a female uh, the same as this as well? Um, so it'd be very very interesting to breed those together. If it wasn't for the risk of white snakes, I probably would do it. But pastel lesser het red exanthic ghost het desert ghost to black head uh, query ghost. I'm not sure if it is a ghost or not. I think it is. The, the sheds are clear. Pinstripe Mojave het desert ghost. They're due today. <coughs> Excuse me and um, I've got a lot on today so I'm actually going to cut them because I might not be able to do it again for a couple of days so I want to make sure that they're able to get out the eggs they're very well collapsed down I think they probably would go on for another day or two but um, I've got so much on my plate at the moment I'm just going to get it done now it's nothing to do with being overly eager because um, today is the day they were due anyway and that first egg there is a hypo blackhead. So that's a hypo blackhead, 66% uh, desert ghost. There is a risk obviously with this, with the mojo and the lesser, of having white snakes, which I probably shouldn't have said, because now I've said it, um, I'll probably get a white snake, but so far, there's another hypo. Um, that's another. That's a hypo blackhead again. Het, 66% het desert ghost. Ooh. Okay, that's nice, that's really nice. Um, 
So maybe the dad is a phantom because phantoms and blackhead tend to end up with elongated alien heads like that. We'll be able to tell later on. Can't actually see any desert ghost in any of these, but this one is quite, it's got a nice light dorsal stripe, but so far I haven't seen anything that I would say was definitively a desert ghost, but we will see. There's another. Okay, so that is a blackhead hypo again. Lots of blackheads in here, considering there's only blackhead on one side. Um, there's a lot of blackheads in here. I'm not going to say the obvious, but I'll say it once I've cut, once I've finished cutting. So there we have, ooh, that looks like a blackhead lesser ghost, head desert ghost. Or it could even be the visual desert ghost, I don't know, I've never hatched a desert, blackhead desert ghost before. Um, that could have everything in it, that one, that's quite interesting. Um, I've I got a feeling I'm not going to be able to tell it, which ones of these are um, Desert Ghost, if, if in fact I've hit any, because um, it's hit to hit, so one in four, I mean I should, should have hit at least one, hopefully. Now this is the one I wasn't going to mention. We had to hit one, didn't we? So there's a white snake, which probably would benefit from being tested a whole, uh, a, the whole array to see what's in it. I didn't say anything. That was what I was inferring. Um, I was thinking I'd done that, done well to get to egg five without hitting any white snakes. And um, there's a white snake. So, yeah, nice. One blackhead, two blackhead, three blackhead, four blackheads, five, f five, five blackheads. That I'm pretty sure that is a blackhead. Oh, five out of six blackheads. So that even could be like a, um, don't know. I can't see the head on it. That could be blackhead as well. <laughs> Why not a full house? Well, we'll see when they shed off, hopefully. Okay, so here they are all shed off. Uh, Mills and I have had a, a very long discussion about these animals. Um, and uh, I'll let you know what we decided in the end. None of, none of it's set in stone, but it, we're going to give you our best guesses. So this guy, the first guy out, this is a male. Um, we think it's either a Phantom Lesser or a Mojave Lesser ghost. If you look, you, actually I can see it on the camera, there's patterns on this animal. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to have this one shed tested and um, find out exactly what's in it. It's a, And it's a male, very clean because of the ghost on top. Um, it almost certainly got the ghost on top. There's no yellow stripe down its back, which you'd expect with a, with a lesser Mojave or a lesser Phantom. And a bit of colour on the head, which there is none. The um, the pattern that's showing up is quite interesting as well. So then I'm going to go to this one. So this is a black head um, hypo, and we th and we think. Um, possible, or they're all possible het desert ghost because of the, the breeding, the, the het to het. It's a possible het desert ghost. It's also red and ringer. There's a lot of red and ringer genes showing up in these animals, uh, but it's not surprising. I'm, I made these from a blackhead purple passion ghost that I got off of Mills, and 
nearly all of his come from Ralph Davis and the Red and Ringer gene is very strong in his, his blackheads. Absolutely beautiful. Now the one thing that we've also noticed in this clutch, which we didn't initially, um, is this. There's in the alien heads, there's a lot of granite. So there's some kind of granite gene kicking about in there, which doesn't surprise me. Um, you know, um, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that Mills produces um, and a lot of the stuff I've produced from Mills' stuff has, has had extra genes in it over the years. So I'm going to say this one is a blackhead, high pay, red and ringer, 66% um, head desert ghost. I'm hoping that uh, Shed Testing UK is going to be bringing out desert ghost at some point in the near future. Um, so I'll be sending most of these sheds off <coughs> to get them tested. I'm not in any hurry. I, I'm, I'm probably going to keep all of these animals and grow them on anyway. So then the next one, I'm going to leave this one until last because I'm, that's a bit of an enigma, that one. This one is the same again. So it's a blackhead hypo, but this time the alien heads are a completely different colour, much paler colour. They've got the, the granite in them again, as you can see. There's red and ringer gene throughout this animal. Um, I don't know if there's any on the belly. No, there's none on the belly on this one, but there is on another one. So it's got a very brushed out head. And I'm actually, or Mills and I are in agreement, we think this one is actually a blackhead uh, ghost, um, desert ghost. So it's basically a blackhead poltergeist. Um, but obviously, again, um, because there's so many different genes stacked on top, that is a little girl, because there's so many genes stacked on top, um, it, it's really hard to work it out really. And then these two, this, so I'll start with this one. So we think this one is um, a blackhead, het red exanthic, phantom or Mojave ghost. So it'll be 66% het desert ghost. We don't think this is a visual desert ghost. It's a ghost, but it's not a desert ghost. Excuse the noises my stomach's making. And this is, if I remember rightly, a, oh, that's a girl as well, cool. Really beautiful animal. Again, the head's very brushed out. I love the way the eye stripe stops um, just before the eye. Really, really beautiful animal. I love this, I love the head on it. Absolutely stunning. Um, I think I think it would be very difficult to say whether there was desert ghost in there or not. Um, so at the moment, I'm just going to, you know, until I've had them shed tested, I'm just going to say that that's a a, a blackhead um, phantom or Mojave het red exanthic ghost, red ringer, <laughs> and probably granite. Let's have a look at this one. No, I can't really see granite in this one actually. It's the first one that I haven't been able to see it in that we've looked at so far. Obviously, apart from the white one. And then this, so this one is a blackhead ghost desert ghost um, and it's either either lesser or het red exanthic and phantom obviously it can't be phantom and lesser because it would be a white snake like the first one but this one i believe looks more desert ghost than the other one we just looked at it's got the granite in the alien heads as well um, the ghost has really washed it out it's got an amazing head look at the head on that I love that. It's got like a boomerang behind its head. That's not a boomerang, is it actually? It's like a it's like a deer skull or something like that. Ventilers. That's cool. So I actually think this, I think we hit two um, desert ghosts out of this clutch. That's a male, so real powerhouse. So this guy will be tested probably to go back into some of the other. I've got a load of double het desert ghost, orange ghost stuff. Uh, black head as well. Um, ready to breed it's sort of in the next season so this this boy will be um, an absolute powerhouse to go towards that breeding once he's big enough obviously and then this last one so we think I think dad is a ghost 
mum is definitely a ghost but we we weren't a hundred percent sure whether the male was a ghost or not and the thing that's given us a little bit of doubt is this one here now i actually think it's a ghost because it's quite orange uh the hypo in this is orange ghost it's pretty orange look at that head the head is amazing it's got like a sheen over it it's got lots of blushing in it like a ghost but it's not oh you know this is not obviously ghost like all of those so mills and i have debated over this one for quite a long time it's got the it's got a severe amount of that granite effect in it um it's got white up the sides which is um typical of some of ralph davis's blackhead stuff um so you know it's, it's a blackhead ghost um 66 percent het desert ghost um but the interesting thing is the red and ringer on it is really affected the underneath so if you have a look at there i don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick up the colors yeah, you can i can see it through the camera so it's got some quite um quite yellowy looking markings underneath with white bits ringers um and the belly is quite busy on it which on all the other animals it isn't uh there's no leopard involved in this breeding so that's you know you that is a typical looking leopardy type belly but there aren't any leopards involved in this so look at that head that head is just absolutely beautiful so this is the one Mills and I have sort of agreed to disagree on it'll be interesting once we get the um, uh, the shed tests and that back I'm pretty convinced now this i've bred these animals and they're in my shed so it's easy for me to say mills has only seen them over the phone um and i did have my colorblind glasses on the whole time we were talking so i've got a banging headache now and um i think it's a ghost mills not isn't so convinced which would then lead us to think that the dad prob the dad wouldn't be a ghost but i mean the chances are of getting all of them apart from one as a ghost i, I would say quite slim really from a head to a visual so I, I i think this is a ghost and um i will do an update video on this once i've got the sheds tested so there you go bloody amazing clutch um and some real powerhouses for my uh blackhead desert ghost projects in the future <clears throat> So there you go. Now you can see from um, you know the, the post shed video uh, why I was anticipating a headache from this clutch, and uh, I have got a banging headache now because I spent before we did I spent a good forty minutes with my colour blindness glasses on, which sounds doesn't sound very painful, but they make my eyes they correct my colour vision so that I, I can see how a normal person's colour vision would be um, and they do cause after about 20 minutes half an hour of wearing them they really do cause eye strain I wear them when I'm shooting um, as well so I can see different colour clays and stuff um, but you can't really wear them for a long time so we Mills and I discussed as I said in the update um, exactly what they were I'm pretty sure that we're fairly close to the mark with most of those animals. I do believe there's two visual desert ghosts there. And what I said about at the end of the uh, um, post shed video that I'd like to make blackhead poltergeist. Well, in, in, in reality, both of those two, which have got um, desert ghost in, if they have got desert ghost and, des and orange ghost and they're blackheads, then I've already hit it. So there's two, um, there's two blackhead poltergeists there. But it's going to be really hard to tell because uh, these combinations and that you know just are, are not common uh and I, I think even <laughs> even with normal color vision i think you'd have a bit of trouble deciphering it where the granite came from we um we weren't sure at first and then i looked back into my records and the female that made the mum was a pastel het red exanthic lesser granite so I didn't see and you can't see the granite obviously in the mum but it's obviously there because a lot of those babies have got granite in them um, I mean, it, 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 if future clutches um, so <clears throat> 
the male that I used, he's got four sisters and they're all here. So if in future that any of those four sisters produce granite, then I know that the granite actually didn't come from that female. The granite came from uh, the original snake that I made them all from, which was a purple passion blackhead ghost that Mills made. So it's a bit complicated. There's a lot of uh, a lot of different matings that are going to need to happen before we can absolutely suss it all out. But the granite gives it a really nice looking effect. It gives it a bit of a the the alien heads a bit of a sort of a nanny stroke carnage look, which I I quite like. And um, yeah, so you know, um, and the, the the other interesting part is is the ringer the ringers on that very last animal that I sh I showed you. you know, they are red and ringer gene, but that one actually looks like a pied ringer. And God only knows where that came from. So, anyway, I'm waffling. I'm quite excited about this clutch, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm really happy with how they've come out. Um, I can't wait to get them feeding and get them up to size and get breeding them, basically. Um, put them into my... I've, I've got a big load of um, blackhead, desert ghost, orange ghost uh, stuff that I, I want to sort of, you know, start producing over the next couple of years and see, see what happens with them. So... I tried to say it anyway. Uh, I am waffling. I tried to end it. I'll try again. If you enjoyed this video, please tick the like. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It would help me great, greatly. And um, stay safe out there, especially in Florida.